Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to verify if your phone has any root app installed or not. So if you are planning to take a backup of your phone which is currently rooted and then you want to restore that data on a non-rooted phone, then it might cause a few issues. So before taking a backup on a rooted phone, you should first and foremost remove all the root apps. Now in hindsight, you might see the Magisk and NS4 app which you could easily remove, but there could be a few apps and services which are installed in the backend and which you might not even notice. So in this video, we'll show you how to get a hold of all those apps. So even if you're taking a, a backup on a rooted phone, make sure to remove all those modules first and only then take a backup and then you could easily restore on a non-root phone. So with that said, let's get started. To carry out this task, you just have to install the Ruru app from GitHub. It's an open source app. So go to his GitHub page and expand the asset section and simply install the APK file. So once you install the APK file, just launch it. And let me now show you the UI of this app. So the sign of virus means it has found a routing binary apps. The check mark shows not found, which means there is no rooted apps on that domain. And the suspicious apps means that it is a part of a rooted binary or it could not be a part of rooted binary, but it's better to remove those apps as well. Suspicious app means it's recommended to remove those apps, whereas the found means that they have found a rooted apps and not found means there is no rooted app. So as you could see, only the LS patch app is showing a check mark and the accessibility service are showing check marks. So in both these services, we don't have it installed. So we qualify for both these things. In this, all the other services, it has found something regarding root. So let's now check out, check out each of these toggles. So in the abnormal environment, it has found two things. The first is the super user binary and the second is a magic file. It's showing a virus file next to both these things. So it has found both these files onto our phone. So we will have to remove this file and then the check mark will be gone. Similarly, under PM command, it has found the com.topjohnwoo.magis file and again the LSPOS manager file. So regarding the magis file, which is com.topjohnwoo.magis, you could easily hide it from this app as well. For that, you just have to hide the magis cap. Once you hide the magis cap, the virus sign will be removed, but still the magis cap will still be there on your phone. So if you take a backup of that magis cap, it might cause a few issues. But still, if you just want to hide from this app, then let me show you what I mean. So currently, as you could see, under the PM command is showing as com.topjohnmoo.magisk. So it has been identified this app. So we will now rename the app to something else. For that, just launch the Magisk app. Go to the settings menu and tap on hide the Magisk app. Let's rename it to something else. So I am renaming it to Dwightwin. And now if I tap on OK, it will now hide the Magisk app. So with this, the app package name has been changed. And let's now verify the same. So let me bring the, so the, my new Magisk app is Droidwin. So let's now restart the Ruru app. So go to app info, tap on force stop, tap OK, now open it. And under the PM command, as you could see, it's now showing a check mark next to com.topjohnmo.magis because it is not able to find the, the app with this package name since we have changed it to Droidwin. So we are getting a check mark which signifies it's not found. But still, there is a section of Magisk app separately. And as you could see, it has found the Magisk app. So even if you hide the Magisk app, it will still be able to find the app from this section. So that's in fact quite a good approach because if you have hide the Magisk app and if you have taken a backup, then that Magisk app might be installed on a non-rooted phone if you're planning to restore the backup. So it will still show you that the Magisk app is there installed on your phone. So the only way to completely remove Magisk from this app is to unroot your phone. Once you remove root from your phone, all the section regarding the Magisk will be checked marked. Next up, let me show you something else. So if we talk about the org.lspos manager, so it's the lspos app. So if you now remove this lspos app, then it will be gone. Then next up is the, for example, PM Sunrise APIs. Again, lspos manager only. Then conventional APIs, again, lspos manager app only. Then intent queries, same lspos app. So lspos is quite there. Again, lspos app, then sky call file detection, same LS post. Now under exposed module is showing that I have exposed module installed as well. So if I remove the exposed module, I will get that. Then the magic cap could only be removed by uh, unrooting my phone. And then is the activity service, which is not there on my phone. And the last is the settings prop. These are the suspicious things. So as I told you before, in suspicious, it's showing that USB debugging is enabled and developer options enabled. So if you turn off both the toggles, then it will be check mark. So let me show you that as well. If I go to the settings menu, then go to system, then go to developer option, disable developer option, then it will, it will disable developer option and also it will turn off USB debugging. Now let me relaunch the Ruru app and 
tap on first stop okay now if i launch the app so it's still showing that setting pop is enabled so to refresh the change in case of debugging mode you have to restart your phone after turning off debugging mode and then it will remove this as well so i'll show you that at the end in the meantime let me now verify some of the other tweaks so so for example next one is the ls post manager so if i now remove the ls post app from my phone i'll first and foremost have to turn off the ls post and then hit the remove button and with this ls post is gone let me now remove the ls post app as well but before that let me remove the module i had a module installed as well so just turn off the module and let's then remove the module as well uninstall so with this we have removed the ls post module and now we have put uninstall the ls post app as well so let me do that as well and with this we have also removed the module and i have turned off the module from here as well likewise i have turned off the debugging as well let me verify it once so debugging is turned off so let's now restart our phone and okay just a minute let me now restart my phone and once i do a restart those apps should be removed so in the meantime let me show you some other tweaks as well so if you have a custom recovery installed then also it will show you that so as of now this in this phone i have a table app recovery installed if i launch the duro app as you could see in the abnormal environment is showing a TWRP suspicious under TWRP. So it does not count as a rooted environment because you could install recovery on a non root phone as well. So it does not come under rooted environment. So that's why it's showing as an suspicious sign. Apart from that, in this phone is currently not rooted. I only have a magic app installed, but it's not rooted. Let me show you. My phone is not rooted. So if I simply uninstall the magic app from here, let me show you. And I force off the Ruru app and then relaunch it so let me do that as well so as you could see i am only getting the twrp warning and apart from that all the others are check marked so it means there is no rooted apps involved on my phone so as you could verify from here i don't have any rooted apps the only thing which i am having is a twrp recovery in order to re remove that you have to either flash the stock recovery file or the easier or rather the most safer approach will be to flash the entire firmware that will be a safer approach or you could simply flash the stock recovery file in the recovery or the boot partition depending on the phone you own apart from that as you could see all the others are check marked and all the others are disabled the only thing was enabled is the twrp recovery anyway if i now come back to my phone earlier phone and if i now unlock my device so let's now launch the ruro app and as you could see the settings props has been refreshed so just to repeat for settings props after you have Turned off USB debugging, you will have to restart your phone once and then the new status will be shown. So, as of now, under abnormal environment, we only have the Magisk and Super User file, which are of the same family, and apart from that, the next is the Magisk app. So, we only have these two things. In order to remove that as well, you have to unroot your phone. For unrooting, you could simply launch the Magisk app, turn off and disable all the modules from here, and just tap on uninstall Magisk and tap on complete uninstall. This will restore your phone to the stock environment, remove the root. And once the root has been removed, you have to restart your phone and then you will no longer get any virus sign over here as I've shown you in my earlier phone. So as you could see from here, this is not rooted. So I don't have any magic, any virus sign next to magic or super SU as you could see from here. So for non-rooted phones, this will be the case. If you have a custom recovery installed, then you will see this. So on that note, once you have got the check mark next to all the apps, you could then take a backup and this backup will be free from all rooted apps. You could then easily restore the backup on any non-root phone of your choice. So with that said, I round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section and please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.